All right, guys, I wanted to post a uh, video review of the zombie box uh, that I just got installed recently. And just a little quick overview of this. So this is a zombie box. It's a noise enclosure uh, to reduce the noise of your generator. This installation that we're looking at is going to be their standby uh, backup generator. So I have a Kohler 20 uh, KW generator inside of the box. The Kohler itself has its own sound enclosure, which we'll see as I take this box apart. But I just wanted to post a video. I was looking for a review of the box and I, I couldn't find a good review that kind of highlighted the box and the features. So I just wanted to go ahead and post uh, kind of the video that I would have hoped to have been able to find as I was shopping for these boxes. But uh, the, the reason I bought this is we installed a standby generator about a year ago. Uh, it's not particularly loud, but it's, it's just loud enough that if it was running for a few days in a power outage, um, our, our bedroom backs up to that wall. And so it's just loud enough that it's, it's a little bit of a, a nuisance as far as noise goes. Again, not too loud, but loud enough running a few days at a time. Uh, you wouldn't want to sit outside on the back deck or something because it creates enough background noise um, that it's just not a pleasant noise. So the idea was to install this and see if I could get a drastic reduction in noise levels. So I want to go ahead and now run a few tests. And what I'm going to do is show you all some various noise levels. I'm going to use an app uh, on the, the my iPhone that's called uh, DB meter. And so it's just the decibel meter. It's not a calibrated decibel meter. Uh, but if you do go on to YouTube and just watch, there's a lot of decibel meters out there and people post uh, comparisons of calibrated meters next to the iPhone apps. And they're typically within a few decibels of each other. And you'll see they respond directionally the same. So showing you something that's louder or quieter. So I do acknowledge this is not a calibrated meter, but it's at least directionally helpful uh, over a video to say, is this louder or is this quieter? So uh, just to kind of show you, here is the app that I'm going to be using. And I will try to hold it in the same position uh, right here and each time that I take a reading. And so I'm just going to start. And just to show you, here's kind of what we're seeing. So it's telling me normal conversation, quiet street. And as I talk louder, you'll see that that goes up. As I talk quieter, you'll see that it goes down. So directionally, it is, it is picking up louder and quieter noises. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this in reverse just because it's quicker to take the box off than it is to put the box on. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, show you some readings uh, with the enclosure on, then I'm going to take it off one piece at a time uh, to highlight the sound dampening uh, capability of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and start the generator. And this will be running an unloaded cycle, so no load, which is typically a little quieter than when the generator's running under load under a power situation. So the generator is on, it has stabilized. So we're showing about 66 decibels as the starting reference point. So now I'm gonna go uh, start taking the box off. I'm gonna start by opening the lid first and then I'll come back and show you readings as I take each piece off. So this is now the lid open and now holding the phone in the same way. We're seeing 67 to 68. So it looks like it's about two decibels louder with the lid open. So now just for reference for kind of what the lids do, I'm gonna go open the lid on the Kohler enclosure. So that tan uh, that you see at the top of the video, I'm just gonna open that so you can see kind of the dampening effects of the Kohler enclosure before I take the box off of just how the noise will change. All right, so you can see that it's, it's about 70 now, so it's gone up about another two decibels. 69 to 70, but you'll notice now you, you clearly hear that engine sound of a, a combustion engine running. So I'm going to shut that now uh, and return the noise, and then I'm going to start taking the walls off of the zombie box one at a time.
right, so we've got the first wall off now. So we're seeing about that same kind of 69 to, uh, or so decibels with the first wall off. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the next wall off, the side wall. got the front and side wall off. You can now see the Kohler enclosure. So about 70 decibels. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, the far side off, the exhaust side off. So we're seeing about 71 to 72 decibels with those three off. All right. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take the lid and the sides off of this Kohler so you can see what it sounds like without the Kohler enclosure. kind of 73 to 74 decibels and you saw what it was before when I just opened the lid So I'm now taking the exhaust side off. getting louder as I take the, uh, the walls off. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and shut the generator down. So I think that kind of demonstrates what we're seeing on the noise side. And then what I want to show you real quick is just the difference in the uh, kind of the, the products. And I'm, I'm not familiar with the Generac uh, boxes themselves. What you'll see is this is the, the noise enclosure that comes on the Kohler. So this is a kind of plastic material. And inside it's got, if you'll see, it's got some kind of high, high density foam. This is like the insulating foam you would wrap around pipes. I'm uh, just showing you this enclosure itself already has some dampening capability to it. So that's kind of what comes on the Kohler itself. Again, not sure what the Generac has, but I just wanted to show that. And then I'm going to show you the zombie box. So I'm going to 
pick this up and just walk over here. So this is the exhaust louver. So essentially what this does um, is this kind of, this butts up to your exhaust, these open, and then you can see they're just open. And there's a little bit of sound dampening here, trying to redirect the noise at the ground, but, but essentially you're taking the exhaust and you're just opening the exhaust. And here's the sound insulation material on a lot of this. It's kind of this foam. Um, I'd say that's probably about two inches of, you can kind of see it's kind of a, looks almost like fiberglass insulation. Uh, that's on, that's probably the higher temp insulation because it's on the exhaust. And then showing you, uh, this is kind of a lighter duty um, looking foam, or it may be the same material, but you're looking at about two inches of, essentially it's a fairly thin metal, as you can see, uh, sheet, and then you've got that kind of rhino liner armor plate, and then you have this sound dampening material. So that's kind of what the box is made of. And so, so real quick, just kind of wrapping up. So the, the original intent when I installed this was, uh, I was hoping that in my installation, I would take an already, as you can see, somewhere in kind of the 70 decibel range was what the generator is with its own enclosure. And I was hoping to see kind of a drastic reduction where I wouldn't audibly hear the generator. And so one of the things in my specific installation, acknowledging that uh, installations will vary and performance will vary from house to house and generator to generator. I'm not seeing a significant reduction in noise levels with this box. And I think you're seeing that on the decibel meter as well as just audibly. I don't hear a significant difference in my house with the zombie box installed. I, I still hear the generator running. It sounds, you know, it changes the type of noise. So instead of hearing a uh, combustion engine it sounds just more like loud white noise but as far as total volume to my human ear it sounds about the same so I'm not seeing a big reduction in volume so anyway I hope this review was helpful I wanted to post it just so others could see um, kind of my what the results look like in my specific installation and if anyone has any questions or comments please post them in the comment section below and if any if there's anything about this test that y'all don't think is fair I am more than happy to update the test video and perform other tests and and repost videos uh, if there was anything unfair about this test so please comment in the section below and thanks for tuning in All right, guys, I just wanted to post a uh, quick update to the video. Uh, the original video, if you remember, I took all of the decibel readings with this app, um, the decibel meter app on my iPhone. I got a few comments and questions just about the accuracy of this, made no claims of the original accuracy, but I went ahead and purchased, uh, sorry, this isn't actually reading, so ignore those readings right now, but I went ahead and purchased this decibel meter, so this is an actual um, calibrated decibel meter. Um, so you can go online if you want to look up, there's the information on the meter. You can kind of look up the accuracy of this meter, but I'm going to redo uh, all of the readings in the video. I'm not going to repost the entire video, um, but I'm going to do every reading that you saw me make with this decimal meter. I'm going to repost it uh, just to save kind of the 12 minute video. I'm going to redo all of the readings and I will repost that at the end, a comparison of these readings versus these readings. So real quickly in the short update, I'm going to turn on the generator and I'm just gonna uh, show y'all an unloaded reading compared to this, just so you can see kind of the difference in the decibel readings. And then I'm also gonna post one quickly uh, showing a 100% loaded cycle because that's posted in another video just to show you the difference in sound of an unloaded versus fully loaded uh, generator in my specific zombie box installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up here and this is gonna be the unloaded cycle and we'll compare the readings. So that lets you see kind of the difference in the readings between the iPhone app and the, um, the decimal meter. And again, I'll post them. All right, guys, now I've just cranked up the generator and this is a fully loaded 100% uh, 100 um, speed running just to show you the difference in noise. Let me hold it the same way. So 
you can see that is a little bit louder than when it's running fully unloaded. But not a huge difference.